can't believe you guys are alive. Of course we are. Either that or you're daydreaming. That's true. Sensors indicate that he could be daydreaming. But no time for small talk now. We've got work to do. What about my sister? Is she coming? Don't worry. She'll get her chance. But right now, you're the one that we need. All right, boys. Strap yourselves in. It could be a bumpy ride. time we briefed our new cadet. Now listen up. I'm Captain Zigil. This is my ship. Over here we have Dr. Fidgel. How do you do? This is the ship's pilot and engineer, First Officer Midgel. And, um, <coughs> that's, uh, Kevin. Pleasure. What does he do? Well, mostly he just does that. Okay, so where are we going? We have received a report on our fax machine. The planet Wait Your Turn is in crisis. Wait a minute. You guys get your directions on a fax machine? Yes. Why? Mm, no reason. So, what's the crisis? That we don't know. We were low on toner. Let's get on with our mission, boys. Engineer Midgel, engage hyperdrive. Hyperdrive? We're only ten miles away. Can't you read a map? Hmm? Perhaps if he was wearing his glasses. He doesn't wear his glasses because he thinks they make him look silly. That's not true. I, uh, I just don't like the red marks they make on my beak. Great schools of halibut! We've been hit! It's all right. We're okay. We were in the correct landing pattern, but another ship caught right in front of us. Clipped us with his wing. How rude. We'll uh, have to report this to the local authorities. Let's bring this ship down. Buckle up for landing, everyone. Right. Here we go. You can do it, Mitchell. Yes, we believe in you. Hang on. Yes, much better than the last one. What? It felt like the landing gear broke off. Landing gear? Landing gear? Landing gear? You know, that's not a bad idea. It just might work. I think the kids got something. Landing gear? Hmm, no matter. Here we are. Quite. And as the ship's scientist, I should go out first. Uh, as the ship's engineer, I should go first. As captain, I'll go first. As Kevin, could I stay here? All right, mister, if that's your attitude, you can just go first. 